So now we do GCC, so it's the same thing again. We do tar, monitor, XVF, GCC, you can press tab to auto complete. So this is a big package, it will take a while to extract. Okay, CD into the directory, and then we can start with the instructions on the page. So we've got these commands to put in first. So as I say, you could, you could do all of these, but if, if you're new to this, I'll just do them one at a time and just inspect the output from each one. If there's no output, that's generally a good thing. Um, if there is output, you need to read it and interpret it, whether it's a good thing or not. These ones here, the move, well, the tar ones, there's no V, so you can't see anything. The move commands, there's a V, so it's telling you, or it's, it's saying to the move command, tell me what you're doing, and it's saying I renamed that directory to that directory. Same with the GMP. Okay. Now, um, I did say previously that some command, some commands are split over several lines. In actual fact, this is all one big command because it's a for loop. So it's a for, and it always ends with a done. So this is one command. Even though there's several commands embedded, it will all run as one single command. So we can copy all of that in. And you can see it's completed. There's the end of the command we put in where it says done. And there's the output. It's just um, done some symlinks with the looks of it. Or it's copied some files. Oh, it's copied some files, sorry. So that's what it's copied that file to that file and so on. Another command, again, it's like the previous case command. A case is either several lines. It ends with ESAC, which is the word case backwards. So we need to copy all of this in. But as you get to do this and get to know the Linux commands, if you're not fully aware of them, you'll get to know what an individual command is and what isn't. And again, we need to create a separate build directory. And we create it and we change into it. And then we've got quite a big config command. And as before, I'd, I would read all this if you're interested in it, if you want to understand more about how the compile process works and Linux itself and what each of these packages are capable of doing. It's worth reading this to get the reasoning behind why these switches are used. So make command. I'm going to time this one using time just to see how long it takes and wait for that to complete.
the case. So that is built. We can now install it with the final command. And that's done. And we can again look at the tools directory. You can see there's, I think there's one extra directory that's appeared there. And we can look at the size. You see it's increased incredibly, it's about 700 meg, it's gone up by, it was about 113 or something I think before. So that's gone up by 750 meg at least. So you can see it's quite a big package and certainly when we come to the main system that is the package that will take the longest to build and the longest to test. So we're finished with that, we can go back to the sources and remove the GCC directory and move on to the next package.